Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I want to quickly talk about three programs that you can replace your Adobe products with. Now, I, I, I don't hate Adobe. Uh, I do strongly dislike a lot of their practices. Uh, this morning, I found out I was being charged for two subscription plans for Adobe. Probably my fault. Uh, I went online to cancel, and during the cancellation process, uh, I ran into a couple of different things. They wanted me to pay $50 to cancel the plan that I was paying $9.99 a month for, just the photography plan. That's really frustrating because I didn't know that that was something that was going to happen. If you have not signed up yet with Adobe, watch this whole video first, subscribe to this channel, and learn what other programs you can use completely for free that are not just average alternatives, but are really good Add a couple of the components. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new Adobe Illustrator alternative, which is actually amazing. I found out about it last week and have been playing around with it. And it is very powerful. It's very intuitive. A lot of the things that I was struggling to do in Illustrator or in Affinity Designer, Designer, which I love, by the way, fantastic program are natively supportive and intelligently done in better ways in this program. So I'm going to be talking about that one at the very end. I'm going to be talking about uh, for 2D art, uh, for 3D, for um, video editing, those, and then for design. So those are the four that we're going to cover. So the first program that we're going to look at that is completely free is Krita. Okay, so without going into all the settings here, what I'm going to just do is introduce these programs and you can watch other tutorials online. Krita is completely free. It has a bunch of really cool tools that don't exist in other drawing programs. It has a massive brush engine, this great wheel that you can program. So all your brushes are here, your colors are here, your brush size, uh, a lot of different really great tools right at your fingertips or right at the tip of your pencil. A uh, great program. Make sure you have settings, configure, tablet settings, set this to Windows 8 plus pointer if you are missing pen pressure. The next program we're going to look at is DaVinci Resolve. Now I was using Adobe Premiere for quite a while. I was using Premiere Rush. And then on my phone, I use a program called Video Leap, which I think is 10 bucks. Uh, it's relatively reasonable. Um, and is amazing. They're, they have a suite of tools that if you're editing on your phone, you can get incredible, incredible work done there. Okay, Video Leap, uh, iOS App Store. DaVinci Resolve is a 100% free program for everything I use it for. I do YouTube videos and tutorials and a bunch of different things, and the quality is fantastic. It has great keyboard shortcuts. It has a bunch of different options here, so you can do color grading, uh, you can do audio, um, special effects, different things. And they have a paid version, which is $300, a little less than $300, that adds a number of other features. And that's a one-time fee. And they are excellent at what they do. This is the program that's used quite a bit in the industry, so it's not an outlier that you will have problems with a lot of compatibility. You can do all sorts of great things here. Blender is a great, super powerful program. It's funded by a community. So it's free, but constantly being developed. You can do 3D sculpting, you can do 3D modeling, you can do uh, video uh, rendering and animated sequences. There's a lot that you can do inside of Blender. Very, very powerful program. And this can replace ZBrush, uh, alternatives from uh, Adobe. And again, it's completely free. All right, so let's jump to our last one. This one I found out about last week. It is really cool. This is Lunacy. Now I, I use Affinity Designer instead of Illustrator. Illustrator was very um, difficult to use for me. Uh, I spent probably 15 to 20 years using Photoshop and still Illustrator was hard. It's really hard to understand how to do things. So this comes with a fantastic tutorial. When you start it up, it'll walk you through a number of different things. And then it has uh, a lot of great tools. It has uh, styles, you can make components, icons, you can drop them uh, in images, photos, illustrations, 
uh, UI kits. So a lot of the things that you'd expect in a uh, high-end paid program. And then it has additional assets that you can purchase, but the program, the base program itself is completely free, which I like a lot. So this has a lot of really intelligent features. It's very, very powerful. Uh, it's got an infinite canvas and you can create different artboards. It's, it's different than designer and illustrator in a lot of ways, but it's made for people who are doing exactly this type of work. Lunacy is really cool, a lot of features. Uh, so here you can see all the different features here on the side. You can import icons very, very easily. The gear, and I can just drop it right there, make it bigger, and do all sorts of different things to it. This is great, and I haven't even begun to touch the different options that exist here. Uh, but you can make components, all sorts of different things. Really cool program. Uh, check them out, it's in the Microsoft App Store. All right, that's Lunacy. All right, you guys, if you have questions about other free programs that you can use to replace Adobe products, if you want to suggest them in the comment section, I would love to have a great list for anyone who is trying to replace their subscription with free apps that are great. So you can do probably 95% of the things that you can do in the Adobe products you can do in these free alternatives. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.